I'm Elliot Forrest from WQXR, and joining me now is Ted Sperling. You know him as a longtime conductor and music director of so many Broadway shows, including My Fair Lady and South Pacific, Fiddler on the Roof, and he's also the artistic director of Master Voices. Good to see you. Hi, Elliot. So good to see you. Uh, it's nice to see you. I wish it were in person, and I wish it was on the stage, as I've seen so many times, both the back of your head and Broadway shows, and, and in some cases, backstage after shows. Um, uh, let's just catch up a, a little bit. Uh, I, I know everything is, is on hold at this point as we yeah. record this. Uh, tell, for those who don't, don't know, Master Voices is what? Master Voices is a performing arts organization in New York City. We're celebrating our 78th season. It's uh, built around a volunteer chorus of around 150 singers who come from all over the metropolitan area. One person has been commuting from Providence, Rhode Island on Mondays for around 30 years to be wow. part of the group. Yeah, and we just, uh, we just had someone retire after 50 years singing with the group. So it's a very loyal collegial group. And in fact, we were called the Collegiate Chorale for most of our history. And when I became the artistic director, <clears throat> I asked whether we might rethink the name because it didn't feel um, quite as vibrant as the group. And so we changed our name to Master Voices around four years ago. Right, I noticed uh, the name change, but the tradition continues. It does, and we were founded by Robert Shaw, who's pretty much the Dean of American Choral Singing. This was his first chorus, and his idea was that it would be the People's Chorus, so it would be volunteer, but at a very high level, and would include people from all walks of life, all ethnicities and religions, um, all ages, <clears throat> and it continues to this day to be a very mixed group, and uh, I think he would call it democracy in song originally. Well, uh, such a venerable name and you carry on that tradition now. Uh, you were to have a production of Carmen. Is that canceled on hold? It's not canceled. And it's actually currently still scheduled to be performed in June. We were originally going to do it uh, April 2nd. And we do operas in concert and we've started staging them more and more recently. <clears throat> we primarily do uh, rarities either brand new pieces or pieces that haven't been seen in a long time. And our take on Carmen was to do it in English, which is something that's not done very much anymore. And in translation by Sheldon Harnick, the great lyricist from Fiddle on the Roof, She Loves Me and other Broadway shows. Um, <clears throat> and we're gonna do it at Jazz at Lincoln Center in the Rose Hall, which is a beautiful space for opera. I think it was really designed to be the chamber opera space that New York hasn't had in a long time. Um, and we're going to do it with the orchestra on stage, but and the principals uh, acting out the action in front of us. So almost in the palm of your hand if you're in the audience. And the the hall also has towers that surround the stage that has three levels of seating, and that's where the chorus would be. Well, I hope it happens at Thank some you. point. Thank you. We will do it. You we'll will do it. do it, even if Sheldon it's... is still with us. He's very much with us. He and I would love to see. It it done while he can join us as part of the process. And you say as an organization, you do rarities. I've seen several of your productions, uh, some offbeat Gershwin uh, yes. stagings that I have to say, I think uh, people know the music, but I think they're extremely surprised by the stories. I, I talk about them when I play Strike Up the Band on the radio, that it's this crazy story about a trade war with Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think people know the tunes, but they don't really know the story. I know. Well, I'd like to program stuff that has some relevance to what's going on in the world and particularly things that are on my mind. So we've done two Gershwin satirical operettas, the, the, not the one you just mentioned, Strike Up the Band, but the two later ones, Of the I Sing, which is probably the most familiar of the three, and Let Me Cake, which is the least familiar. Uh, and those two operettas, they're, they're highly political, they're very satirical, um, and they actually have the same characters. They were written two years apart. We performed them two years apart with the same cast as they did. And the first one is about a corrupt election, basically, and uh, a trade war with France, uh, an interference in the election from a foreign power. And then the second one is about a president who basically refuses to leave office when he's not reelected. Mm, and forms, funny uh, that. Yeah, forms an authoritarian government and fires the Supreme Court. So I thought, you know, and it's done with such humor and such wit. I thought that's what we really need right now. I recently saw a video you were a part of or took the lead on. I'm not sure it was a reunion cast from Titanic. That was, yes. that was recent, right? It was just this week, yeah. Tell me about that. 
Well, I was, uh, I'm primarily a conductor and director, but when I was transitioning into doing more directing, I thought I should be directed by somebody and, and put myself in the actor's shoes. And this opportunity arose because the Broadway production of Titanic was coming up and they were looking for someone who could play violin and piano and sing and do a little acting. So I decided to audition to be in the cast and I got the part. Um, and just recently, uh, there was a regional production of Titanic that was scheduled to open soon and had to be canceled. And so those people decided to make a video, you know, virtually to celebrate what would have been their opening. And then simultaneously, uh, an email thread started happening amongst original cast members of the Broadway Titanic just to say hi and check in with each other. And those two things ended up intersecting so that we made a video in, a uh, in collaboration with this regional theater. So it was members of both companies singing the opening number. Uh, let's take a look at this. It's a joy to follow your career and see all the work you do. Best of luck. Uh, with Thank you. Concert work and, and master voices. And uh, I look forward to having you back uh, live on stage. I appreciate you having me today. Though.